We come together in prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, we're blessed with this beautiful day to share God's presence and word and sacrament in our Lenten season. Let us prepare for Mass by calling to mind the times that we have failed to serve one another. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God bless us, forgive us our sin, and lead us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord, schooled always in good works, and so comfort them with your protection here, as to lead them graciously to gifts on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory with all his angels, 
he will sit on his royal throne. The people of all nations will be brought before him, and he will separate them as shepherds, separate their sheep from their goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right, My father has blessed you. Come and receive the kingdom that was prepared for you before the world was created. When I was hungry, you gave me something to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. When I was a stranger, you welcomed me. When I was naked, you gave me clothes to wear. When I was sick, you took care of me. When I was in jail, you visited me. Then the ones who please the Lord will ask, When did we give you something to eat or drink? When did we welcome you as a stranger, or give you clothes to wear, or visit you when you were sick or in jail? The king will answer, Whenever you did it for any of my people, no matter how un unimportant they seemed, you did it for me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, to you, Praise Lord. to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I was in about the first grade, my grandmother gave me a picture of Jesus, which I hung in my bedroom. I think it came from the Sacred Heart Fathers in Hales Corner, Wisconsin. And I had that picture up for years and years, even when I was in the, the seminary. In a sense, that was my image of Jesus. We all have pictures in our mind of what Jesus might look like. Maybe it's on a holy card or a picture we have in our home. Maybe we think about the baby Jesus at the manger. Maybe we think about Jesus dying on the cross and what that might look like. But we all have a picture in our mind of what the Lord might look like to us. Today in the Gospel, Jesus challenges us to take that image and place it on the people, the faces of everyone we meet. Because what, how we treat people, in a sense, is how we would treat Christ. Jesus talks about taking care of the sick and the hungry and the poor and those in jail and people on the outside, people that need uh, clothing to wear and so forth. And he says, when you treat people with love and respect, you are treating me the same. And so when we think about all the people that we meet, and we think about how we treat them, in a sense, that is the way that we are treating Christ. And so when we are charitable and loving, it's like loving Jesus right before us. And when we are less than loving or turn away from people, in a sense, we are turning away Christ. To see the presence of Jesus in one another is a challenge that we have as Christians to live and share the gospel, to live and share the Christian life in love. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please stand and I invite those with the petitions to come forward. Pray to the Lord. 
forgiveness of our Lord and join him in heaven. We pray to the Lord. We pray that our continued service to others helps the poor of our community get their needs fulfilled. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the healing for those who cannot be with us because they are sick or in the hospital for the doctors and nurses who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the peace throughout the world mm -hmm. and for all the private prayers we hold in our quiet of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Gracious God, we ask that you hear all of these prayers and those we hold in our hearts and help us to know the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Through Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, on the sacrificial gifts we offer you, and by this holy exchange, undo the bonds of our sin through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that what you have given us as the pledge of immortality may work for our eternal re salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth now in peace. Our daily Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.